I tried this before and I figured I got cut off and, and I, I did. <laughs> so here, this is Jonah, is what I'm getting ready to read. And what I'm trying to say is that I believe God is making a real way that his people who have been abused horribly by people who call themselves Christians, by, by taking part in what these, these satanic shame rituals of having people doxxed and, and you taking part in this and you thought you were okay with God, you thought you were all right to do it, you're about to find out. You're about to find out. And you can't blame these Democrats. You can't blame the Republicans. You can't blame them. It's all on you, Christians. It's all on you. You knew what you were doing when you did this to the real saints of God. And you know what? You're about ready to find out what you have done, what you've really done in its depths. And I feel sorry for you. And I pray for your souls. And I, like Jonah, have... I, I ran from this, from, from dealing with this, because it was so grievous that I didn't know from day to day how I would get through. But God is showing me. He's making a way on eagle's wings. It's you tares. It's you tares. They have caused so much damage in this world. It's you church, you false Laodicean people who have, have done grievous things to the real people of God. Can you imagine people listening to a husband and wife talking on the phone and some of them you listen to them having sex just because you wanted to get a prophecy or find out if there was something that you could you could make money off of or take these people's lives and write a book about it and make money i'm telling you god is showing me have for me to have faith and for the others of us who have suffered at the hands of these wicked wicked people to know that he has seen our suffering that he has seen he was there he saw it we have not been forsaken. So go ahead. It's going to be a Psalm 37 thing to where not to fret when you see these people making money, trying to write books about the horrible things that some of you have experienced. And that's why they want it into your life. They don't, they don't hear from God. So they have to come and steal from people who do. And I'm telling truth right here. I'm telling truth. And God is about ready to show all of you and back all this up. Because of how wickedly you have treated his people. Now the word of the Lord came into Jonah, the son of Amittai, saying, Arise, go to Nineveh, that great city, and cry out against it, for the wickedness has come up before me. But Jonah rose up to flee into Tarshish from the presence of the Lord, and went down to Joppa, and found a ship going to Tarshish. So he paid the fare thereof, and went down into it, to go with them into Tarshish from the presence of the Lord. But the Lord sent out a great wind into the sea, and there was a mighty tempest in the sea, so that the ship was like to be broken. Then the mariners were afraid, and cried every man unto his God, and cast forth wares that were in the ship into the sea, to lighten it of them. But Jonah was gone into the sides of the ship, and he lay, and, is, and was fast asleep. So the, sh the shipmaster came to him and said unto him, What meanest thou, O sleeper? Arise, call on thy God, if so be that God will think upon us that we perish not. And they said every one to his fellow, Come, and let us cast lots, that we may know for whose cause this evil is upon us. So they cast lots, and the lots fell upon Jonah. And they said unto him, Tell us, we pray thee, for whose cause this evil is upon us? And what is thine occupation? And whence comest thou? And what is thy country? And what, of, what people art thou? And he said unto them, I am an Hebrew, and I fear the Lord, the God of heaven, which hath made the sea and the dry land. Then were the man, men exceedingly afraid, and they said unto him, Why hast thou done this? For the men knew that he fled from the presence of the Lord, because he had told them. Then said they unto him, What shall we do unto thee, that the sea may be calm unto us? For the sea wrought and was tempestuous. And he said unto them, Take me up and cast me forth into the sea, so that the sea shall be calm unto you. For I know that for my sake this great tempest is upon you. 
Nevertheless, the men rode hard to bring it to the land, and they could not, for the sea wrought and, the temp and was tempestuous against them. Wherefore they cried unto the Lord and said, We beseech thee, O Lord, we beseech thee, let us not perish for this man's life, and lay not upon us innocent blood, for thou, O Lord, hast done as it pleased thee. So they took up Jonah and cast him forth into the sea, and the sea ceased from her raging. And the men feared the Lord exceedingly, and offered a sacrifice unto the Lord, and made vows. Now the Lord prepared a great fish to swallow up Jonah, and Jonah was in the belly of the fish three days and three nights. Chapter 2 Then Jonah prayed unto the Lord his God out of the fish's belly, and he cried by reason of mine affliction, I cried by reason of mine affliction unto the Lord. I know I sure have. I cried and prayed and cried and prayed, curled up in a little ball, crying and praying, asking God to deliver me from these people who use the name of Jesus that would do such horrible things to somebody who only wanted to know Jesus and to be saved. That's it. Just trying to get my life cleaned up, trying to live in the way that I was supposed to and, and let God use his power to heal me to clean me up and to purge me of all these things that was unlike him and, and these people who would not leave me alone, who used the name of Jesus Christ, I would curl up in a ball and do nothing but pray and pray and pray and pray and beg for my son, beg for our souls and beg that these people would not hurt me anymore. And I said, and said I, cry by reason of mine affliction unto the Lord. And he heard me. Out of the belly of hell I cry, cried I, and thou heardest my voice. For thou hast cast me into the deep, into the midst of the seas, and the floods compassed me about. All thy billows and thy waves passed over me. Then I said, I am cast out of thy sight, yet I will not look again toward thy holy temple. The waters compassed me about, even to the soul. The depth closed me round about and the weeds were wrapped about my head. <clears throat> and I went down to the bottoms of the mountains, and the earth with her bars was about me forever. Yet hast thou brought up my life from the corruption, from corruption or the pit, O Lord my God. When my soul fainted within me, I remembered the Lord, and my prayer came unto thee and into thine holy temple. They that observe lying vanities forsake their own mercy. But I will sacrifice unto thee with the voice of thanksgiving. I will pay that that I have vowed. Salvation is of the Lord. And the Lord spake unto the fish, and it vomited out Jonah upon the dry land. Chapter 3 And the word of the Lord came unto Jonah the second time, saying, Arise, go unto Nineveh, that great city, and preach unto it the preaching that I bid thee. So Jonah arose and went unto Nineveh, according to the word of the Lord. Now Nineveh was an exceeding great city of three days' journey. And Jonah began to enter into the city a day's journey, and he cried and said, Yet forty days, and Nineveh shall be overthrown. So the people of Nineveh believed God and proclaimed a fast, and put on sackcloth from the greatest of them even to the least of them. For the word came unto the king of Nineveh, and he arose from his throne, and he laid his robe from him and covered him with sackcloth and sat in ashes. And he caused it to be proclaimed and published through Nineveh by decree of the king and his nobles, saying, Let neither man nor beast nor herd nor flock taste anything, let them not feed nor drink water, but let man and beast be covered with sackcloth and cry mightily unto God. Yea, let them turn every one from his evil way and from the violence that is in their hands. Who can tell, who can tell if God will turn and repent and turn away from his fierce anger that we perish not? And God saw their works that they turn from their evil way I just love that. And God saw their works, <laughs> saw their works, that they turned from their evil way. And God repented of the evil that he had said he would do unto them, and he did it not. 
But it displeased Jonah exceedingly, for he was very angry. And he prayed unto the Lord and said, I pray thee, O Lord, was not this my saying when I was yet in my country? Therefore I fled before unto Tarshish, for I knew that thou art a gracious God and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness and repentest thee of the evil. Therefore now, O Lord, take, I beseech thee, my life from me, for it is better for me to die than to live. Then said the Lord, Doest thou well to be angry? So Jonah went out of the city and sat on the east side of the city and there made him a booth and sat under the shadow, sh sat under it in the shadow till he might see what would become of the city. And the Lord God prepared a gourd and made it to come up over Jonah that it might shadow over his head to deliver him from his grief. So Jonah was exceeding glad of the gourd. But God poured a warm, prepared a warm when the morning rose the next day and it smote the gourd that it withered. And it came to pass when the sun did arise that God prepared a vehement east wind and the sun beat down upon the head of Jonah that he fainted and wished in himself to die and said, It is better for me to die than to live. And God said to Jonah, Doest thou well to be angry for the gourd? And he said, I do well to be angry, even unto death. Then said the Lord, Thou hast had pity on the gourd, for the which thou hast not labored, neither madest it grow, which came up in a night and perished in a night. I should, I should, and should I not spare Nineveh, that great city, wherein are more than six score thousand persons that cannot discern between their right hand and their left hand, and also much cattle. God is merciful. I pray he's merciful to all of us, myself and all of us. I, I just pray it. I need mercy. I, I love it how Char Charlie always says, I'm going to need a lot of mercy. And you know, I could say that with him. I'm going to need a lot of mercy. I I can't be mad at anybody. I need mercy so much that I can't be mad. I cannot stay angry. But I pray that we do repent. In Christ Jesus' name, amen.